The 3rd of September, Accra, Ghana, at the University of Ghana. Deep Learning in Daba, the biggest gathering point for AI researchers, machine learning researchers and scholars. Attracts over 800 delegates and 30 scholars from across the continent and the diaspora and even in Europe and America. iAfrican.com as the media partner will be covering all the festivities, breakthroughs, practicals, workshops, and thought leadership. Further, we'll be having interviews with players within the AI and machine learning realm. In 2016, um, at the top AI conferences in the world, mm -hmm. um, there, for pretty much the entire existence of these conferences, there was not a single paper that was written by an African author based in Africa. And uh, they said, you know, this, this is strange. There's mm. an entire continent that's missing. And AI is growing so rapidly and we're not being part of the conversation. Mm. So that sparked the idea of this first deep learning in okay. At the same time, I've always had this view that people come to us and say, oh, you're from Africa, you must use all this amazing machine learning stuff to solve African problems. And I say, yes, that's true. But actually, it's also a bit condescending. 100%. And we can build the same science anyone else can. The challenge we have is then having, you know, if you look at the African continent, You'll have people saying there's no people to do this work. Uh, you'll say that there's no infrastructure to do this work. And as such, we should just be people who receive whatever mm, comes whatever out of this revolution. Out of the revolution. Yeah, yeah, right. And then if you don't control it, there's going to be very limited economic benefit for us. Uh, my name is Nati, Nati Njavu. I'm from South Africa. Hi, my name is Nirel, and I'm from Kenya. My name is Yusra Farhani, I'm from Algeria. Yeah, it's my first in Daba. It's actually my second. The very first one that I, that I attended was actually the very first one in 2016, 2017. The atmosphere here is so motivating. I met a lot of inspiring people, people that have been reading their papers and reading their books. 2017, there was like basically one, one program. Now there's like different parallels. It's catering for much more different things. Well, I love the experience so much. Um, I guess there is some things I thought I knew about, just read about, but experiencing itself, experiencing it down by itself was something so different. This thing is an entire volunteer movement. 100%. No one gets paid. Yes, sir. It's a strange concept because people spend hours and hours and hours uh, volunteering for a common cause. Yes. And I can always remember that feeling of how powerful it is that a small group of people yes. can come together and you can literally change the world in some way. Because yes. Indaba has in some sense been that kind of power, such a powerful model that has been picked up across the world by many other organizations. I think as an Indaba organization, we had very specific ideas about what, how we wanted to review the applications. Mm. Diversity across Africa is very important to us. Mm. Gender diversity is very important to us. You know, gender equality is very important to us in the attendees. We also wanted to make sure that the people who attended the Indaba were really passionate about kind of growing African machine learning and we're really aligned with that mission. Yes. I'm Meron Desta. Where are you from? Ethiopia. Well, I'm Loyani Loyani from the Nelson Mandela African Institution of Science and Technology in Arusha, Tanzania. Oh, my name is Muyanga Kampekete and I'm coming from Zambia. My paper post is about addressing uh, the poor waste management system in my country. What we have here is um, an ongoing research at Evelyn Owen College. And the title of this research is uh, the development of an AI-enabled uh, digital stethoscope. Uh, this is actually a global problem. The first case of this pest was, uh, was uh, recorded in uh, Peru, South America. Then it spread to the rest of the world. The first case in Africa was recorded in 2008 in Algeria. And in less than 10 years, it spread to over 40, uh, 41 countries. It's especially touching that some of those people who are there, you know, they've yeah. gone so far as to yeah. be in, the in Time Magazine top 100 people yes. in AI. Um, some of them were students at that first, at that Indaba. first day. This feeling when you arrive the first day of the Indaba and the first bus of people come Start arriving. and just the doors open and everyone gets down, it was just a feeling that, you know, I, I couldn't really describe it with words, it feel like that this moment that you've been waiting for a whole year is finally here. My name is Okwekbebe Matthias Busoye. I'm from Nigeria and I'm wearing a Sanito attire, Upa and Shokoto. Hi, my name is Grace Mothoni Kaimburi. I'm from Kenya. My outfit is from my culture. I'm from the Kikuyu culture in Kenya. My name is Shaima Alezem. 
I am an associate professor at the City of Scientific Research and Technology Applications in Egypt. I'm wearing an Egyptian outfit uh, that comes from the countryside. 